Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to continue our lesson on our current topic, Let's Play. I believe that all of you have received the BDPR module, and since we have learnt the topic for the past two weeks, today, we will do two pages from the English language section. But before that, I would like to do a quick revision on the names of the toys that you have learnt. By now, you should be able to spell all of these words independently. If not, that means you have not achieved our lesson objectives and you should do revisions by watching my previous week's teaching video. Okay, are you ready? What's this? It's a kite. K I T E kite. What's this? It's a doll. D O L L doll. What's this? It's a monster. M O N S T E R monster. What's this? It's a plane. P L A N E plane. What's this? It's a computer game. C O M P U T E R computer. G A M E game. Computer game. What's this? It's a train. T R A I N train. What's this? It's a car. C A R car. What's this? It's a ball. B A L L ball. What's this? It's a bike. B I K E bike. What's this? It's a go kart. G O hyphen k a r t go kart what's this it's a boat b o a t boat okay now we are going to learn a chant you can refer to the first page of English language section in your PDPR module. The same chant is also there in your student's book, page 22. So you can choose which book to use. Before we try the chant, let's get used to the text first. Point to the words and repeat after me. Toy shop. Toy shop. Let's go to the toy shop. Look, a doll, a car, a bike. Oh, yes. A go 
cart and a train, a ball, a computer game, a monster, and a plane. Yes, and there's a kite. That's right. Okay, now I will play the chant for you. Point to the words as you listen. Students book. Page 22. 2. Listen and chant. Toy shop, toy shop, let's go to the toy shop. Look! A doll, a car, a bike, oh yes! A go-kart and a train. A ball. A computer game, a monster, and a plane. Yes, and there's a kite. That's right. Okay, now it's your turn. Student's book. Page 22. 2. Listen and chant. Toy shop, toy shop, let's go to the toy shop. Look! A doll, a car, a bike, oh yes! A go-kart and a train. A ball, a computer game, a monster, and a plane. Yes, and there's a kite. That's right. Good. Now let's get back to work. Look at page one. Circle and write the words based on the picture. So you have the chant and 10 pictures of toys at the side. Now take out your pencil and look at picture one. What's this? Yes, it's a doll. Now let's find the word doll in the chant. Have you found it? Good. Now circle the word with your pencil. Are you done? Okay. Now you have to write the word in the box here. So D O L L. Doll. Done? Okay, now look at number two. What's this? Yes, it's a car. Now let's find the word car in the chant. Have you found it? Okay, circle the word with your pencil. And write the word in the box here. C A R. Car. Easy, right? Okay, now you can do number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten on your own. You can pause this video first while answering the questions. Are you done? Good. Now let's move on to page two. The instruction asks you to cut and paste.
is the correct answer. But since the module is printed on both sides, you don't have to cut the answers. Just write it down in the boxes with your pencil. Okay? Look at the picture on the left. Can you see a girl there? In this section, you are going to answer three questions about this girl. Read the questions carefully, then choose the correct answers from the boxes below. Let's look at question one. Let's look at question one. What's her name? See, there are three answer choices here. Her name's Lisa. She's six. Her favorite toy is her doll. So, which one suits the question the most? Yes, the answer is her name's Lisa. What's her name? Her name's Lisa. Now, write the answer in the box here. Remember, please use the correct punctuations. Start your sentence with capital letter. Don't forget the apostrophe. And the name starts with capital letter as well. Okay? And finally, don't forget to end your sentence with a full stop. Alright, next question. How old is she? Okay, now we have two options left. She's six and her favorite toy is her doll. So which one answers the question, how old is she? Yes, she's six. Okay, write it down in the answer box. Question three. What's her favorite toy? We have learned this two weeks ago, remember? So the answer is... Yes, her favorite toy is her doll. Okay, that's it. So if you can do this one, that means you can do the other one too. This one's about a boy named Ben. Okay, read the questions carefully and choose and write the correct answers in the boxes provided. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Don't forget to submit your work for checking. Have a good day and see you next week.